Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook DNT, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to increase the size of your Xbox 360 worlds. Those puny, puny worlds. All right, uh, so 4J actually just came up with an update um, today, officially Wednesday, um, that came with the Christmas mashup pack that nobody cares about, but it came with the update that actually allows people on the Xbox One, and I believe this is strictly for the Xbox One at the moment, to take their 360 worlds and increase the size of them so we've been able to take those worlds and bring them over if you don't know how to do that I do have a video on that um, that video will actually come in a couple of hours from this video if you don't know how to do that I might just put them like out immediately it just kind of messes up the feed when they come out back to back you know uh, so let's just say that video is gonna come in a couple of hours but technically if you have an Xbox one and you've been playing on the 360 prior to the one and now you're here then you already know how to do it so then this video is coming first all right established all right fantastic so now if you've already been playing in that world if you've already brought it over and you've accepted the size limitations that came with it and you simply wanted to be playing on it because it was on a shiny new xbox one then actually your world should already have this option let me show you for example, I brought my redstone world over, okay? I've been playing on it. I've actually improved things on it and I've built things on it. So for example, if I go to more options, here is the option. See that? See that? It's there. I can increase it. And it says here overwrite world edges. So when enabled, the outer 32 tiles around it will uh, blah 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 so basically it'll blend it in if you don't um, have the overwrite world edges it won't blend it in and it just I'm, probably, I'm sure it's gonna probably look like crap so just blend it if you you know don't care especially on a flat world it shouldn't make any kind of difference and especially on any kind of world you didn't have anything built there anyways that is unless the 32 tiles are part of something you've been building for whatever reason you built that close to the outer edge and then do not click this okay don't click it don't click it. but uh, point is that you would see this option so you're like you know everyone's the point of the video and the point of the video is, is if you've been waiting for this option to be a thing and you just brought your world over you don't see that option so let me show you for example the video I did on bringing worlds over involved the building with sausage world so here it is on my Xbox one more options Do you see the option no you do not but you will see it after I do this we go into the world it was already built in creative it doesn't matter which it was built in so just load it up all right so I mean just to prove the point let's fly to an outer edge of the map I don't know where that is so let's just fly this way all right, with it being ocean, we're probably already at the edge now. Yep, we're at the edge. All right, fantastic. Let's park ourselves right over here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and exit. Uh, so it had auto save by default. You know, it's gonna have it by default, I believe. Any new world. So it's already had uh, the auto save going. Are you sure you want to exit? Okay, it's already gonna save the level. So I would say it is safe to say to exit and save your level if for some reason you've managed to have. Autosave completely disabled, which I don't think it's an option just yet. At least not on any newly loaded world. So we're gonna go to play world. We're gonna go to the sausage world. We're gonna go to more options. And we're gonna go right here. So in the case of this, I'm gonna hit large. So it's gonna go with the new format of the large Xbox One edition worlds. I'm gonna overwrite the world edges. So that way it's kind of a seamless transition as opposed to just throwing something in there crazy like. So I'm going to disable autosave because I'm curious about something. So let's overwrite the world edges and let's go in the world. Load. What I'm curious about is because of course I'm, I'm going to exit without saving. But I want to see what happens uh, at the ocean uh, when we expand the world size. So this was overriding it. This was kind of blending them in. See what kind of job it did at that. Oh, nice, nice. 
the ocean is gone. It doesn't look like it did anything crazy. So of course it did the blending option. You know, it, it, it kind of took what was here and then just kind of made it happen. Oh, fantastic train. Why not? Why not? All right, so as you can see, there we go. New larger worlds, let's exit without saving. So now you know how to do it. That's all you do. At that point, you would exit and save it. But now this is just an experiment. Let's find out what happens. If we go on that specific world, we go to more options, we make it large, and we don't overwrite the world edges. So it will just increase leaving things as they are. Oops. Hopefully it just throws a mountain in the middle of the ocean. That would be kind of sweet. All right. So again, I, I don't know the order of the videos. I think the next one might come before this, might come after that. Yeah, <laughs> it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. That sexy knife cut. Look at that. Look at that. So if you can tell, um, it, it kind of works. And I'm going to say this just as a generality. Uh, it's kind of working kind of uh, how the PC seeds are. The PC seed is the way that the seed is going to be regardless of what happens after the fact because of the numbers and the letters in the seed. So as you can tell, even though we had this little option here to, to, to do this, the seed still generated the same jungle over here. I mean, everything is actually, I believe, exactly the same. Um, so yeah, that's what you're going to see. I would suggest, again, blend it, unless for whatever reason, if you can tell here, uh, Sausage was cutting it pretty close to the uh, world edge. But um, yeah. So um, that's how you do it. If you just load it up and you think, uh, you know, you haven't played on it, you've been uh, having your save there on standby waiting for this update to come out. Well, it finally came out. And this is how you um, make it make it larger. This is how you increase your size. All right, fantastic, guys. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, again, I'm going to put annotations to the um, transferring uh, at some point in time. I have to decide just yet how to do it. I believe I'm going to do this video first because it's more important as the other one is something you should already know by now. And then the other one will come in a couple of hours, maybe four hours at the most. So if you don't know how, go look it up. If you feel like waiting, then uh, go ahead and wait and it'll show up on your feed here soon. And then, uh, fantastic. I actually will probably throw in the first Building with Sausage video as well. Um, and uh, I don't know, it seems kind of inconvenient right now, but the world's safe. At some point... I do a world save for this for you guys. All right, fantastic. I'm just rambling now. I hope you guys like the videos. Always subscribe up top and peace out.